relationship. All relationships have their ups and downs, and now it appears Dwayne Wade and the Heat may have hit that, oh, it's like that stage, based on the latest <laughs> developments in the SI.com report that says Wade and the Lakers now have mutual interest per sources. Wade, what? Yep, here is the deal. Wade is scheduled to make $16.1 million the final year of his current deal this upcoming season, but the 33-year-old Heat guard has an early termination option this summer, which allows him to flirt with other teams. Now, all of a sudden, we have random photos of Papa Wade on IG, oh, and then oh, we have, uh, well, I mean, yes, you know, we, we, I know you want to talk about it, mm. and then, of course, now it's ending up with this report uh, coming out on SI. So how do you feel about that? Do you feel like Wade has any chance to end up with the Lakers? I'll say this. It'll be a good fit for Pat Riley, and here's why. Uh -huh. I think Pat Riley is trying to get from underneath the specter of Dwayne Wade now. Mm -hmm. What better to have somebody else put that mutual interest out there? This way, Dwayne Wade has done a lot for this organization. Three championships, but at 33 years of age, he's played 12 years. The last four years, including the strike year, he has not played a full season. Back in the strike year, 49 out of 66 games. After that, 69 to 82, 54 out of 82, and then 62 out of 82. Pat Riley has been very, con he's been very loud with the silence in terms of how things have stagnated. So I don't know if it's a good fit for Dwayne Wade with the Lakers. I'll say if you're the Lakers, you're not turning that down. If you're Dwayne Wade, you get a chance to go to Hollywood. You're Matt Gabrielle Union, who's an actor, so you know she wants to be in Hollywood yes. any chance she can get. But if I'm Pat, I'm thinking, you know what? This could turn to be a perfect scenario that I've wanted to make a break from this guy. I want to start over, especially with somebody else or some bodies. So maybe the Lakers not mutual interest. All right, Dwayne Wade, had that mutual interest this way. You can go on with your life and we can go on with our lives. I think it's maybe more of a perfect fit for Pat Riley to move on from Dwayne Wade, cut that cord and start over in Miami. So is he loosening his ring or is he really ready to take it off with the heat? D Wade's doing what he's supposed to do as a free agent. He's going to flirt. He's going to look around. Look, as somebody who covered the New Jersey Nets when Jason Kidd was a free agent, mm -hmm. you don't count anything out until he signs on the dotted line. I mean, he was going to come back to New Jersey, then he went to San Antonio, and oh, I don't know if I'm coming back all of a sudden now. You just never know what's going to happen when he takes these visits. Look, I wouldn't, I would not discount Cleveland somehow, some way, getting into that mix, LeBron. But D Wade deserves to kind of go through this and look at other teams. After what LeBron kind of did to him last year, left him hanging in the wind for a little bit there. He kind of sacrificed all that money for LeBron to come back. I will say this, though. He is Mr. Miami. You know, and if you're going to sell this whole thing, and, and George knows this, you're a heat for life and all that stuff, you got to bring D-Wade back. And if I'm D-Wade, Miami's got a better chance to win than, than L.A. You're going to play with Kobe. It's still Kobe's <laughs> team. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, And I get it. Hollywood's great for Gabrielle. Everything would work out well. But I think in the end, it's, it's probably going to come down to maybe Cleveland or Miami. I mean, you don't even really know what's going on with Chris Bosh and his health. Uh, do, do you feel like he should come back to Miami? I think he should because I, I agree with them. I think if they bring back Dragic and Bosh and, and Whiteside can keep yeah. it together, I, I think that all of a sudden that team is a team that's a maybe top four or five seed in the Eastern Conference. So you've got a better shot. Where the Lakers, look, as much as we love Kobe Bryant, he's one of the greatest players of all time, that team is a 30-win team, yeah. man. Like, let's be honest with each other here, at least for one more season, and then we'll see how, how it goes from there. But here's the thing about Dwayne Wade. I'm mad at him. I am mad at him. Look, you got to do what you got to do. And here's the thing. You, you remember when Drake sang side pieces at the ESPYs? Oh, mm -hmm. Lord. That's what the Lakers are here right now. <laughs> How's that? They're, because it's all about, hey, Pat. Uh -huh. Oh, you know, I know Cleveland can only pay me the mid-level or the taxpayers mid-level, but you know what? The Lakers can pay me more than fifteen million. And a year. they got Kobe, Julius right. Randle, and Gabby. I get the number two. Gabby can go back to L.A. Oh, We're options. all good. They got like a yeah. Yeah. So that's, young. that's all this is. This okay. is all about hey, I got to show some leverage, some way, somehow. Well, that's a real attractive option, though. Yeah. Not from a basketball perspective, I, mean, I don't think. I'm just saying, I'm talking about you have the Gabby aspect, you, you can make her happy. No, no, it makes some it's sense. It's got some good pieces. Look, I mean, it's not like it's totally a... I think that if Dwayne left Miami, L.A. would be the most viable option, mm -hmm. whether it was the Lakers or if the Clippers could make it work somehow, though. I don't think they have, they don't have many options, much like Cleveland. They're kind of capped out. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the thing. If you're Dwayne Wade, get what you can get because you've sacrificed approximately 20 to 25 million dollars oh, over the last yeah. several years. Yeah, so you got to make sure that 
Pat Riley pays you. You got to take care of a guy. And I'm not normally the guy that you say, "Hey, pay the guy on past performance." But it's not like Dwayne Wade is washed. Okay, right. I know exactly. he played. I know yeah. he played 62 games this year, but he was he still was one of the game. better, more efficient players in the league when he was playing. So I think Pat Riley wants to keep Dwayne Wade. I think the problem is Pat Riley wants Dwayne Wade to take that Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowitzki type deal. Except those guys took it when they were 36 and 37, and not 33. So that's a big difference. But there's a report out there that Goran is maybe going to get like five year 80 million dollars that's what 16 million yeah. a year so if you're Dwayne Wade at 10 million looking at him at 16 what yeah. do you think but what do you think Wade should be asking for when you're looking at those oh years? I think Wade should be somewhere about three years 45 three years 50 million dollars I think that's the range so for him right now uh, no, about the same. About give the same. Yeah, yeah. Really? 15, Do you think that you, about the same? I, I'm so. I just <laughs> like the fact that you kind of referenced Tupac and Drake in your <laughs> argument there. I ain't mad at you, but yeah, I, I, I think it's it, you, you, he's giving them a hometown discount a lot. A and lot. I think this time Dwayne deserves not to give them the home. And LeBron discount. doesn't play that, Freddie. Well, here's the deal. If you're Dwayne Wade, to their points, I'm thinking I've been the bigger person more than a couple of times here. Yeah. And anytime you've asked me to do something to benefit this organization, I've done it over and over. I know pro sports is a cold business, and I think that's why if you're Pat Riley, you think, I know you gave us that hometown discount before, but if I'm going to rebuild, it's going to be hard to rebuild if I have to pay you as much money as Goran Dragic. I think Pat Riley's looking at from the business standpoint of, yeah, I know you gave us hometown discount, but you know, times change. What did yeah. they say in the movie Larry Clown? <laughs> times are tough. Yeah. Well, times are tough for Miami. If they're going to rebuild, if you can't count on Dwayne Wade as much as you thought you could, even though he was very productive in a short amount of time last year, not playing 82 games, that's a decision that Pat Rice would look at for the overall health of the franchise and not the overall mental health or fiscal health for Dwayne Wade. What Pat Riley wants, Josina, is to be able to get in a room, whether he lands him or not, he wants to be able to get in a room with Kevin Durant. That's what he wants. Yeah. And they need to come in at a certain number for all those guys, uh, specifically Goran and, and Dwayne, so they can at least get themselves in that position. And let's not forget Hassan Whiteside, if he has another big year, He's got to get paid too, so they got to make sure to figure you, all that out. You know, Riles has something up his sleeve for the mm -hmm. future, and Dwayne Wade really only factors in. Look, he will be, even if he were to leave for a one year deal, he can always come back to Miami, but he'll always have a place in that organization like Alonzo Mourning. Mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade will probably have a job with the Heat long after he's done playing. But I don't think he cares about that stuff. Yeah. I don't think Dwayne Wade cares to be a guy who's going to be in the organization forever. I don't think that's on his radar, right. because Dwayne Wade still thinks he can be Dwayne Wade. Right. And we saw when he's on the floor, he can still be Dwayne Wade. And remember this, mm -hmm. after the next season, salary cap goes north of $89 million. Right. The season after that, it goes north of $110 million. Don't think for one second Dwayne Wade's not thinking about that, thinking, wait, you can pay me this now, but you're still going to have enough money to go after somebody in the fuse because of the salary cap and the big deal the NBA signed with ESPN and TNT. And obviously, Pat Riley had him, you know, take a little bit less money so he can build. But if you're Dwayne Wade, you're a little salty and say, well, I did it last time, but you didn't exactly get LeBron yeah, here. I'm so. giving a touch my inner George Sedano. Bleepity, bleepity, bleep. <laughs> yeah, that's that point. Give right. me my bleepity, bleepity money right. because right. I've earned it. This is very simple. Give, right. give me my camera here. Pat. <laughs> Please, just pay Dwayne Wade. Make us all happy here. Just pay Dwayne Wade. Keep him in Miami. One uniform for the rest of his but career. Let's do it. You're a Miami guy. How will the fans react if Dwayne Wade is playing in purple and gold next season? Yeah, well, I don't think that will hurt as much. I think... How about the wine and gold? Cleveland. Yeah, the yeah. wine and gold. He went to Cleveland. Cleveland, all of a sudden things would, would change. If he went to the Lakers or the Clippers, anywhere else, even Milwaukee will have some money. He's got ties because of Marquette or whatnot. That wouldn't hurt as much. I mean, I know he's not Dan Marino, but well, he, 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 no, he, for a long listen, time and he, he brought championships. He brought championships, which right. Dan Marino couldn't. Right. He, they are on the same level, but the problem is, Pat Riley is also on that level, too. He brought basketball to Miami. I know they were an expansion team yep. in the 80s, but in 95, when Pat came there, they became a destination. So it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I think people would be divided on that. It's called a loyalty fee. You got him at 15 mil. I'm saying maybe about 17 to 18 because people are coming to see Dwayne Wade and not your boy. D-Wade, Gabby, we got you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not our money. What do we care? Yeah. All right, well, speaking <laughs> of the NBA, the NBA draft is four days away, but we are asking if you could draft anyone, whoever played, uh, who would you? get drafted in the top five that debate is next and uh welcome to the start of another sports week filled with plenty of topics for us to get at to stay ahead of the game and see what's coming up on the show all you have to do is go to our instagram page where you can also leave your takes back after this come to your river wash my inside i will come to your river 
Wash my soul. I will come to you. Let's truth. talk about them. Yes, the then truth. we'll be back next season, but there is no certainty where the truth will play next season. According to ESPN's Mark Stein and a Washington Post report, Pierce will play for the Wizards or the Clippers to reunite with his former coach, Doc Rivers. What is a better fit for him, though, the Clippers or the Wizards? I'll let you go first. You know what? I was there when he uh, said that he didn't know if he was going to come back, and he was very emotional after making that three that didn't count. I mean, he looked like somebody had just, stripped, just taken his heart out of his chest. Um, and I was like, you know what? He's coming back. I know he's not retiring. He loves this game too much. And I think the Wizards, he was able to do everything with the Wizards that the Brooklyn Nets wanted him to do with Darren Williams and that crew. But that crew, which they were a bunch of veterans, John Wall, Bradley Bill, this one. But I think as good of a fit as he is with the Wizards, I think he loves Doc Rivers. I think he loves Los Angeles. And I think the Clippers are probably closer to perhaps winning a championship than that Washington Wizards team, really? even though the Wizards are in the East. How do you feel about that? Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Hometown there, Los Angeles his relationship with Rivers. And here's the thing, I got into this a little bit over the weekend when, when that story came out with somebody on Twitter who's like, oh, but the Clippers, they run and gun and this, that, and the other. And I, I looked it up, and there's only one possession as far as pace per 100 possessions difference between the Wizards and the Clippers. So, look, you're going to have to manage his minutes anyway because yeah. he's up in age. And but Doc I think, does a great job at that. Absolutely. So I think that's going to factor in. And, yes, they are closer to winning a championship. You've got Chris Paul. you got Blake Griffin. They need a small forward now that yeah. Matt Barnes is in there. Yeah. You, you have him also kind of take Lance under the wing a little yeah. bit. I think Lance can be very productive in that Clippers locker room and with that Clippers team. So I think that it all works itself out for Doc to bring Paul Pierce to Los Angeles. Any chance from a Washington Wizzies? I think he's a better fit for Washington. There's no chance he's going back there. With <laughs> I mean, I mean, you had me. Well, it is I a mean, difference of like $3 million. Right. Almost and, $3 million. Yeah, but the selling point is Doc Rivers. And I think another selling point is Chris Paul. Because now you get a chance to play with a guy like that who you know is going to be locked in because he doesn't know how many winters and springs he has left before he can win an NBA championship. Because also that window that looked so open before gets a lot smaller and smaller, especially in the Western uh, Conference. Although he did call John Wall the best point guard in the league when he was playing and well. It's more exciting there well, well, the District of Columbia. I mean, it was like, ah, I like Bar right there. Balmer? Balmer's exciting. I want to play for Balmer. I mean, he's, he's not even on the court. I'm just talking about, you know. But I think in the, with Washington, because right. the Eastern that Conference is, is not as good as the Western Conference, all of a sudden, a, a guy like Paul Pierce, that not only what you said on about how Brooklyn should have used him, but the fact that you got John Wall and Bradley Beal, and Nene even talked about having that kind of guy in your locker room. Marcin yeah. Gortat talked about, you know what, we learned so much about being better men yeah. with having Paul Pierce in our locker room. That's why I think from that standpoint, it's a better fit for him to stay there but he's not going to because well, he's he, going out to Los Angeles. He did definitely feel the love in Washington. He felt the love yeah. from the guys in the locker room and, the fans, and that crowd. Absolutely. And I think that is not something to shake your head like that. Listen, yet. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, J.J. Redick, Paul Pierce, DeAndre Jordan, Jamal Crawford, and Lance coming off the bench. That's a wrap. He's going to L.A. That's <laughs> a wrap? He is. I mean, you have what Bradley, Bill. And you know what? He works out with those guys probably during the summertime in L.A. And so he knows, he knows the Clippers all roster. the way to the other Doesn't side. Doesn't matter. His, his family still lives. Lives, he was born in the wood, as they call it, in Inglewood. How, what, what better for an Inglewood kid that you can't go to the Lakers, but you win the championship in your hometown with the Clippers? Inglewood. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it was like a hair from moving on, just like a hair with that shot on the side. Just a hair. That's okay. You That's okay for him. I'm, I don't have to be over it. Right. I, it did, didn't affect me. Yeah. I mean, but if you're Washington, they're building something. They're, they're trying to align everything for Kevin Durant. Is there That's a what pitch? they're trying to do. Oh, if you watched it, look, it's yeah. what you said. We were a hair away from getting to the Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals. I think that was it. And that would have been a better series against Cleveland. Right. I don't think there's any doubt. So I think there's that. And look, those guys are ascending. He's seen how they are ascending. But again, this is about winning a championship at this stage of his career. And the Clippers are just closer, even though the West is harder. Well, I know who won a championship today with being with you guys on this set, Freddie uh, Coleman. I know, I know. I appreciate you. My pleasure. Playing with me on a... Uh, Chris Broussard, celebrity basketball mm -hmm. thing. Thank Chris um, you did your thing. We Love appreciate you, you. And George, you definitely brought the thunder with all your ninja hot takes. So Thank make you. sure <laughs> we're going to do it all again tomorrow. She's calling game like I'm Paul calling, Pierce now. Calling yeah. game She's calling series. On first series. take, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Join us. We'll see you tomorrow.